We have a thumbs up. Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, go. One well, close finish match 51. Remember, the first 15 seconds you're watching now is completely autonomous and pre programmed by our students. They are not touching anything on their controllers just quite yet. 7457 making their way up to the charge station. Since it's engaged in a level configuration, they gain extra points for their teams. 5188 not quite making it there for their alliance. The remainder of the time period is teleoperated or controlled by our human players. They're making their way and controlling the robots they built over six to ten week period. About two minutes remaining the match. Scores 31 to 34. Still plenty of time to change that as they put game pieces into the node. As a reminder, the grid or with nodes is on the left and right side of the screen. The robots are trying to place as many game pieces into those areas to score points for their alliance. 76-17 successfully demonstrating a cone in the top part of that grid. That's worth five points for their alliance. The name of the game this year is Lynx. A link is three game pieces horizontally across the grid. They need five of those to get an extra rank point for their alliance. 35-67, that's the Disco Ducks placing a cube in the bottom of their grid, creating a link for their team. They're going to need a couple more in order to get that ranking point. Each team has already successfully demonstrated placing three or more game pieces into the central part of their grid. That's the cooperation zone. That is allowing them to decrease the threshold for that grid, uh, chain ranking point. 5188 classified robotics making their way around their charge station. They're wanting to place that game piece in their grid for extra points for their alliance. It looks like they pushed that game piece so hard that it's starting to deflate. 8564 are making use of their loading area and their human player station to get game pieces from outside the field. Most teams have already exhausted the game pieces that started there, so they're going to need to interact with their human player. Just about 30 seconds remaining in the match. We're heading into end game. That's what the train sound was for. We'll start to see teams migrating their way towards their charge station. Contact alone will get them points, but they're hoping to make sure it's in a livable configuration, also known as engaged. 71, 21-71, hot on their feet, already on their Red Alliance charge station. We'll see multiple robots probably get up on there to score points for their alliance. Just like the blue team is demonstrating having two robots in the engaged mission, the Red Alliance matching them. We'll have to see how these scores total up. Here are the scores, qualification match 51. Your winners are the Red Alliance. With a score of 131 to Blue Alliance is 92. The Red Alliance has gained three ranking points, allowing 76-17 to increase the ranking point average, moving them into the 20th rank position.